Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hello, Grace. I'm okay, thank you. What about you? How are you today? Mm, today is so so. So so. So so. Okay. Yes. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Sorry, good evening, Miriam. Good evening, Maria mm -hmm. Consuelo. <laughs> good evening, teacher. Hello. Hello, Maria. Hello, Ricardo. Hello, Milagro. Hello, Catherine. Hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. How was your day? How was your day today? Was it great? Was it good? Was it busy? It was stressful. Oh, it was stressful. Busy. Busy. Today was relaxed. Ah, today was a relaxing day for yes. me. Ah, okay. Because I am in San Salvador. Oh, you're now in San Salvador. Yes. Y what about Ricardo de Jesús? How was your day? Great teacher. Okay. His day was great. In Milagro de Los Angeles, how was your day today? Okay, she doesn't want to share with us today. Okay, I hope you have had a nice day today. Um, today we start a new week. Um, comenzamos una nueva semana, right? And we are almost to finish this English course. So I want to know if you have already finished the exercise on the platform. Did you complete the five sections on the platform? Todos los que están conectados ya terminaron. Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes, yes. yes. yes teacher. Sí. Yes, Milano. Okay, thank you. Uh, what about you, Catherine and Roberto? Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, excellent. Thank you. And Roberto, did you finish the exercises? Hello, hello, teacher. Hello, Roberto. Good evening. Eh, ¿Terminaron los ejercicios en la plataforma? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Marta. Good evening. Yes. Yes, okay. Yes, okay, congratulations then. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, Marta Carolina say yes. I have already finished. Okay, excellent. So, do you have any question about this course? Oh, in which topic would you like to have a review tomorrow? In qué tema le gustaría tener el repaso mañana? Uh, don't you remember the topics? ¿Se acuerdan de todos los temas que hemos visto? ¿En cuál creen que debemos hacer un repaso el día de mañana? Teacher, este, tan, bueno, mi, 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 mi duda o mi, mi deficiente es este, en formar las oraciones. ¿Cómo formar las oraciones correctamente? Ok, entonces, yes, we can. Uh, tomorrow we are going to have a review. Ok, how to, how to make, how to make sentences. Ok, in simple present, right? Simple present. In presente simple, and simple okay. present. Ok, thank you. How to make sentences. In no se podría present. hacer, teacher, algún resumen ahí, como poco dinámico de, de cada tema, un poquito, como pero algo participativo. Yes, we can do that, right? But every talk, every topic, it is going to be difficult, but we can try, we can try. And today we are going to have, um, you are going to remember some things because we are going to study the final test today. So in the final test, there are many exercises. Uh, 
about almost every topic. So we are going to have a review today of that. So you are going to remember, I am sure. Uh, any other opinion for tomorrow class? Para mí que deberíamos practicar más la pronunciación. Okay, pronunciation, pronunciation, okay. Okay, cool. Uh, any other opinion or suggestion? Okay, so, ¿ya tomaron el examen final? ¿Todos los que estamos conectados ya hicimos el examen final? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Yes, okay. Yes. Okay. So, hasta ahora, ¿verdad? Hasta ahora era el día que teníamos para completar eso. Mm para que podemos, podamos ¿verdad? obtener nuestro diploma. Todos ya pueden ver su diploma, ya lo descargaron, ya lo intentaron imprimir. Yes, todos ya vieron su diploma. No tuvieron, ni, no tuvieron ningún problema. Siempre para descargarlo no sale completo, así que captura de pantalla tocó. Ok. Bueno, al momento de imprimirlo había que reducirlo al 90%, fue la indicación ¿verdad? que nos dieron para que puedan tener completo el, para que pueda imprimirse completo ¿verdad? sin ningún problema, sin que le falten las firmas. ¿Do you have any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Solo que siguen apareciendo solo con un, con un apellido, Pichas. Solo con un apellido. Sí, no aparece. Bueno, ¿no? yo consulté, pero no me dieron respuesta acerca de eso, pero imagino que son los que tienen el nombre bastante largo. Pero voy a volver a consultar. Déjenme preguntar una vez más a ver qué sucede. Si se los pueden cambiar, si pueden hacer más pequeña la letra o si no hay ningún problema. ¿verdad? Igual, todos los sí. que están acá van a seguir ¿verdad? en el siguiente... En el siguiente nivel, en el siguiente curso. Entonces creo que no habría ningún problema. Pero igual voy a consultarles. A ver qué me dicen acerca de eso. Eh, si no hay más preguntas, opiniones. We can start the okay. class. No? Ok. Ok. So let's start with today's class, right? Today we're going to have a... Um, final exam review. We're going to, to have a review of the final exam. Okay, let's do this. Let me know, please, if you can see my screen. Yes. Okay, cool. Let's go with section one to have already completed. Section two, yes. Section three, yes. Section four, in section five, so five sections. And then we have this final exam. And it has six questions or six exercises. So we are going to open this. And this is the first part. In the first part, we are going to have a listening. Um, this is a listening part. So these are the instructions. Listen to the four people. Describe their home. Number the picture from one to four. Tie the numbers in letters. Do not need a capital letter or a period. That, that is the instruction in this part. So we have to listen this part. And we are going to answer, right? We are going to answer writing, writing the, in letters, the numbers. Ese era este ejercicio. And so we are going to listen. It was easy or it was difficult to understand the listening part. It was easy or it was difficult? Was it difficult? Or easy? Yes. Easy? Okay. Um, let me know, please, if yes. you can listen. 
Page 45. Can you listen? Yes. 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 Okay, here we go. Exercise four. Listening. It has just one room. Listen to four people describe their homes. No. Okay, how many people um, are going to talk in this audio? Four. Four, four people. Yes, you're right, thank you, four. So listen then. Number the pictures from one to four. One. My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they're not very quiet. Two. My apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. Three. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of an interesting old building. I have a great view of the city, and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. Four. My family and I live in an old white house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a big yard. We like it a lot. Okay, now let's listen again. Pay attention to the pronunciation because we're going to have a practice about this listening. Page 45, exercise four, listening. It has just one room. Listen to four people describe their homes. Number the pictures from one to four. One. My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they're not very quiet. Two. My apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. Three. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of an interesting old building. I have a great view of the city, and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. Four. My family and I live in an old white house in the country. The house is small, but we have a big yard. We like it a lot. Okay, now we are going to read what is in the listening. We are going to go to the presentation and the Here we go. Second. Okay, turn, turn off your microphone, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we are going to see this. Today we have this final exam review. Okay, let me know, please, if you can see my presentation. Hello, can you see my presentation? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. So this is the topic for today, final exam review. So we're going to check in this part. Uh, this is the part of the listening, of the listening part in free will. This is the first thing. My family live on the first floor of a house. Another family live on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they are not very quiet. So it says that it is nice to live there, right? It is nice. My, my family live on the first floor of a house. ¿En qué piso vive la familia de esta persona? En el primero. Primer nivel. Uh, en el primero. That in the first one. Yes. Another family live on the second floor. Hay otra familia que vive en el, en qué piso? Segundo, segundo. 
Okay, the people on the second floor are nice. They are nice, right? but they are not very quiet. What is the problem with these people? Okay, ruidosos. Who wants to read this paragraph? Can you help me, please? Levante su manita. Levante su manita. I Teacher. Okay, let me see. Okay, Michelle, help me, please. Uh, my apartment is very small. The first one, please. The first one. Uh, okay. First one. My family live on the first floor of the house. Another family live on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they are not very quiet. Thank you. That was an excellent pronunciation. Guys, how do you pronounce this, this word, these two words? How do you pronounce this? First floor. First floor. Okay, first. First floor. First. 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 Okay. Uh, how do you pronounce this, this sentence? But they are but they not are very not quiet. Quiet. Not very quiet. Okay, excellent. But they are not very quiet. Thank you. Let's go with the second one. Um, but before to go to the second one, is a new word here. It is a new word. Is it a new word? Hay alguna palabra que no conozca? La última. No. La última. Quiet. 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 quiet, but they are not very quiet. Quiet. What significa? Tranquilo. Okay. Ellos no son muy tranquilos o silenciosos. Quiet. In the salon de clase, the the teacher used to say, uh, "Please, guys, be quiet." Yes. Por favor, chicos, estén tranquilos. Right? Quiet. Let's go with the second one. It says, "My apartment is very small." It has just one room with a very small kitchen. Uh, it doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. That is too small, right? Would you like to live in an apartment like this one? <laughs> Would you like to live in live in an apartment like this one? No. No. No, it is too small. Is it too small for you? Yeah. Yes. Yes, right. So who wants to read this paragraph? Who wants to help me with this? Thank you, Miriam. Okay. You can start. Okay. My apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bathroom, so I sleep on the sofa. Thank you. That was an excellent pronunciation. Thank you, Miriam. You did a great job. So, someone more who wants to help me? Someone more? Levante su manita. Who wants to read the paragraph to? Nobody. Nobody wants to read the paragraph. Help me with this, please. You can do it, guy. Ricardo de Jesus. Thank you. You can start. El, sale un cuadro, teacher. No lo en medio. And now, okay. Yes, yes. Oh, now, my apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. Okay, and look at this. My apartment is very small, but it has just one room. Can you imagine you living in this place? Se imagina vivir en este lugar? It's very small. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very small, right? So it must be difficult there. Let's go with the next, the next, the next description. So this is one, number three. 
I live in an apartment downtown, it's on the fifth floor of an interesting old building. I have a great view of the city and I am close to a lot of the store and restaurant. So would you like to live in this place? Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, what about living in, on the fifth floor? ¿Les gustaría vivir en un quinto piso? Yeah. Yes. Ya. Yeah. Are you afraid of the height? ¿No les afecta la altura? No, teacher. No, okay. And it has some advantages too. Tiene algunas ventajas, right? Look at this. I have a great view of the city. Tengo una gran vista de la ciudad. De la ciudad. And I am close to a lot of stores and restaurants. Y también me quedan cerca todas las tiendas, muchas tiendas y muchos restaurants. Ok, a volunteer, a volunteer to read this paragraph. Ok, teacher. Thank you, Luis. You can start, Luis. Okay, I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the first floor of an interest of building. I have a great view of the city and I am close to a lot of store and restaurant. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Lee. Thank you, Luis, it was excellent. So guys, how do you pronounce this word? Give me a second, I'm going to chill here. So how do you pronounce this? How do you pronounce this word? Apartment. Apartment. Yes, apartment. Apartment. Yes, how do you pronounce this word? Apartment. Fit. 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 Okay, Fit. and Fit. Fit. how about this one? How do you pronounce this? Interest. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. That is the correct pronunciation. Interesting. Interesting. What about this other one? Building teacher. I don't know. Building. Yes. Yes, you're right. It's building. 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 Yeah. And what about this other one? How do they pronounce this word? Great. 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 Okay. Great. Great. And this other one? Restaurant. 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 Thank you. Restaurant. Thank you. Another volunteer to read paragraph number three. Who wants to help me? Okay. Thank you. You can start. It's, it's a mirror cuadrito. Now, can you see this? Okay. Right, yes. My family and I live in an old white house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a big yard. We like it a lot. Thank you. That was excellent. Very good job. My family and I live in an old white house in the country. What color is the house? White. 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 White, uh, let's see. Is it new or is it old? Yeah. Old. Old. Yeah. old. Okay, it is old. The house is a little small. Uh, is it big or is it small? Small. small. Little small. small. Okay, it's un poco pequeña. But we have a big yard. Pero tenemos un gran jardín. Okay. Un patio de qué tamaño? Is it big or is it grande, grande, grande. And we like it a lot. Me gusta mucho. Okay, a nosotros nos gusta mucho. Okay, excellent. My family and I live in an old white house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a big yard. We like it a lot. One volunteer, another volunteer, please. One more. One more. Who wants to read this? The last one. Let me see. Okay, Luis, help me, please. Luis, Luis, and then Michelle. 
Eh, el 4. Yes, number 4, please. My family and I I live in a old white house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a big yard. We like at all. Okay, we like it a lot. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. That was excellent. And now, Luis. Let's listen, Luis. Yes. Yes. You can start, Luis. Yeah. My family and I live in a old white house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a big yard. We like, we like it a lot. Okay, thank you, Luis. And what about your house? What about your house? Would you like to share some information about your house? How is your house? Is it big? Is it small? Uh, is it white? Is it red? Is it green? How many rooms do you have in your house? How many rooms does your house have? ¿Cuántos cuartos hay en su casa? Who wants to share that information? Let's start with the first one. Is your house big or is it a small? And you say- My house, my house is small. Okay, my house is small. Thank you, Milagro. House is big. Me Thank too. you, Luis. My house is big. My house is small. Thank you, Marta. My house is small. My, my house, house is big. Is big. Okay, Oscar says my house is big. Then Emilia said my house is big too. And now my the house color. is a little big. A little bit small. Oh, a little big. Okay, it's un poco grande. A little big. Okay. A little big. Thank you, Maurice. And what about the color of your house? What about the color? Don't have a color. <laughs> it doesn't have color. Okay. Sunshine. Uh, okay. So what's the color of your house? Is it green? Is it orange? Is it white? White. White, white and green. White Light and brown. green. Okay. Light brown. Okay. Cafe Claro. That is a nice color. Okay, thank you, Ricardo. White. White, okay. Now the other question, how many rooms does your house have? How many rooms does your house have? My house has six rooms. Okay, my house has six rooms. That is big. Yes. And someone more wants to share that information. How many my, my house is... Uh, uh, six rooms, two. Okay, two. My house has six rooms, too. Okay, Michelle, that is a big house, too. Six rooms, that is big. And one more, one more. You can do it. You can participate. My house, my house has, my house has uh, uh, <laughs> Seven rooms is big. It's really, it's big. Okay, seven room. It's really big, right? It's really big. Okay, seven rooms. Uh, one more. When is the more? My house has three rooms. Okay, my house has three rooms. Okay, thank you. My house has two bedrooms. My house has two bedrooms. Two bedrooms. Okay, excellent. So yeah, do you live... Tell me, tell me. <laughs> no, ya me olvidó la palabra, bedroom. Estaban diciendo rooms, va. Ah, oh, yes, rooms. Bedroom es solo un cuarto en especial en dormitorio. la casa. Y es el cuarto o dormitorio. La, la habitación le decimos también. De ahí en la casa oh, wow. tenemos, eh, we have other rooms. Mm -hmm. We have the living room, the kitchen, the bedroom, the dining room, garage, attic, basement. Who has basement? ¿Quién tiene sótano? Basement. basement. Who has basement? Oh. 
Yes. Okay. Miriam say yes. Attic. No. ¿Quién, ¿Quién tiene ático? No teacher. No. no. Mejor, ¿verdad? Ahí siempre asustan en todas las películas. Ah. So, no construyan un murciélago. <laughs> okay. Casa para los murciélagos. Okay. House for the bag. Okay. Thank you. So let's continue. Okay. Uh, in the next part of the... So that was the reading part, right? Lo que estuvimos practicando es lo que escuchamos in this part, in the listening. Then we have the second part or the second exercise. And it is, we have to complete this conversation. Uh, instruction, complete the conversation using some or any. Do you remember the use of some and any? Yes. Yes. When we are going to use some and when we are going to use any. Any when, when I say the negative. Some sentence positive. Ah, okay, thank you. So we are going to use some with affirmative sentences. And any? It's a negative. Okay, with negative and question. sentences. And question. And question. And question. question. Yes, question. you're right. And question. Thank you. So let me see. I have some next here for you. I'm going to show you this. What is it? Give me a second. I'm looking for this. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Complete the conversation using some on any. And I have here this conversation. Okay. Look at this. The store doesn't have fruit salad. What is the word? I need some or any to complete the first sentence? Any. 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 Okay. Any, you are right. The store doesn't have any fruit salad. La tienda no tiene ninguna ensalada de? Fruta. Okay. Do you like fruit salad? Yes. 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 Which ingredients do we need to make a fruit salad? Which fruit do you like in your fruit salad? Mm. Watermelon. Apples, watermelon. Pineapple. Banana. Pineapple. Banana. Kiwi. Kiwi. Grapes. Melon. Melon. Grapes. Strawberries. Strawberry. Chica bomba. Which one? Papaya. Okay, papaya. Which other one? ¿Cómo se dice papaya? Ah, I guess it's the same. I guess in a second I'm going to investigate. So, any okay. other fruit? Apples. Apples, yes. Seeds. Eh, o sea, se dice semillas eh, en general. Seed. 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 No. Seed. Ah, okay. seed. But do we have seed in a fruit salad? Yeah. Eh, like uh, pasas. Eh, Mamone. Some people, some people like this. Okay. 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 Excellent. So let's go. Let's continue solving this, right? The first one was any. The store doesn't have any fruit salad. So we, let's go with the other one. Well, we have lots of apple. Let's make some. 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 Let's make some. Then okay. Do we have? Sorry, do we have any? <laughs> do we have any, any, any peers, right? Uh, and the next one, no, we need to buy. Any. What is the next any. one? Any. Are we you sure? Some. We some. need to buy. Any. Some. Some, some. some or any? Some. Uh, some. some. No. Teacher, some. No, we need okay. no, some. We need to buy some. Some. Okay, some. that is the correct answer. Some. No, we need some. to buy some. Uh, we need some. Some peaches. Some. Okay, some. we need some peaches too. Uh, oh, I don't want any, 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 any. any peers. Okay, why not? I hate, I hate peers. 
Uh, then let's get some grade. Some grade. Some grade. Some grade. Some grade. Some grade. Oh. Can you say? Um, Alan say no, I don't want. Any grade. Any, any, any grade. Okay, look at this. No peers, no peaches, no grade. So what kind of fruit salad does she want? And then I have this one. No, I don't want any grate in my face salad, but put some strawberries. Okay, some sun. Is strawberries sound good? Okay. Yes. So, okay, so papaya, we say the same papaya in English too. Okay. Okay. Thanks. So two volunteers to practice this conversation, please. Two volunteers to practice the conversation. Me One. Teacher. Yes. Me teacher. Okay. Okay, you can start. Uh, uh, the store doesn't have any fruit salad. When we have a lot of apples, let's make some pie. Okay, do we have any peers? No, we need to buy some. We need some peaches too? Oh, I don't want any peers. I hate peers. Then let's get some grapes. No, I don't want any grapes in my fresh salad. Salad. But Let's put some strawberries in it. Strawberries sound good. Thank you. That was excellent. Thank you, guys. And two volunteers. Another two volunteers. Lucila, Patricia, please. And who wants to participate? Help me with this guy. You can do it. I'm sure you can do it. Lucila, Patricia, and I need another volunteer. Who wants to participate? Yes. Okay, thank you, Michelle. Lucila, you are going to be Amanda, and Michelle, you are going to be Adam. Okay, solo que está el recuadro, teacher, no puedo ver completa la conversación. Okay, give me a second. Okay. Can you see now? Yes. Okay, yeah, gracias. You're welcome. Your store doesn't have any fruit salad. Michelle, please. We have. Es que fíjese que no sé por qué, pero no o sabe cómo así como borrosito la. Okay, uh, let me try again. I'm going to share my screen again. Maybe. Can you see it now? Can you see it now? Okay, perfect. So, continue, please. We have a lot of apples. Let's make some. Micrófonos. Uh, los demás podemos apagar, apagar los micrófonos, por favor. Please, thank you. Perdón, perdí la señal. Okay, do we have Peers? No, we need to buy some. We need some peers too. Oh, I don't. Permítame, I don't. Es que no alcanzo a ver. No sé por qué, pero no se ve así bien la letra. Ay. Okay, probably is the internet, right? The internet connection that is not working right it is raining here and what about of your home is it raining no lo que pasa es que hace poco el internet ha estado bien mal entonces quizá por eso de ser pero si no o sea puede pasar de decirlo okay can anyone continue reading this part please me teacher thank you Eh, ¿dónde, dónde da? Um, 
It's over here. Oh, we need some pitch too. Oh, I don't want any beers. I hate beers. Then let's get some grapes. No, I don't want any rice in my fresh salad. But let's put some strawberry in it. The strawberries so good. Okay, thank you. Solo medio miedo por los perros, ¿verdad? Están enojados. <laughs> so they are angry. Okay, very good to remember that we use any in negative sentences and also in questions. And we use some in affirmative sentences. In which other case we can use some in a question? Do you remember that? In which other situation we can use some in a question? In qué situación podemos utilizar some in una pregunta? In a question? Cuando se ofrece. Para ofrecer. Ok, thank you. Cuando ofrecemos algo, ¿verdad? When we offer something. Uh, for example, guys. For example. Do you need some coffee? Would you um, like? Ok, would. That is good. Would you like some coffee? Would uh, you like some coffee? But excellent, thank you. Okay, then let's go with the other part of the test. Let's see the other part of the test. Okay, this is some and any. Then you have to complete this conversation using some or any, right? In this part, that is the instruction. Complete the conversation using some or any correct. Correctamente. Teníamos que poner eso, ¿verdad? Some or any. Then we have this, choose the correct adverb frequency. Which are the adverb frequency? ¿Cuáles son los adverbios de frecuencia? Do you remember them? Always. Always. Sometimes. Sometimes. Never. 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 Usually. Hardly Usually. ever. Hardly ever, yes. Uh, can you please repeat? Often. Often, yes, often. Seldom. Seldom. Okay, seldom. Rarely, uh, hardly ever. Sometimes, occasionally. Sometimes, occasionally. Okay, I can see that you remember then. Congratulations. Rarely. Thank you. Rarely. Usually. Rarely. Rarely, usually. Yes, thank you. So, the instruction. Read the following sentence and choose the best one. And choose the best one. Remember the correct position of the adverb of frequency. So in these sentences, we are going to look for the correct position of the adverb of frequency. ¿Cuál es la posición correcta de los adverbios de frecuencia en una oración? Do you remember that? I never. Después del sujeto. Después del pronombre. Ok, thank you. El adverbio verb, va... Before the verb. Después del sujeto. Ok, we can say después del sujeto o antes del verbo. Before the verb. Ok, okay. solo en el verbo to be hay una excepción, ¿verdad? Y cuando estamos usando el verbo to be, entonces el, el adverbio va después del verbo to be. Let's say, for example, he is always angry. In this sentence, he is always angry. Entonces, el adverbio en esa oración va después. But we are going to solve some exercise right now. Vamos a resolver algunos ejercicios for you to remember the correct position of the adverb. Here we go. Let me know if you can see my presentation on my screen, please. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, frequency adverbs, the position, right? Position, the position. Okay, frequency adverb position, and we have this. Uh, what is the correct position of this? He listened to the radio, and I want to add this word or this adverb often. Donde va a ir? He often. He often. 
Okay, can you please say the complete sentence? He often listens to the radio. Okay, he often listens to the radio. What about the next one? Sometimes. They sometimes read a book. Okay, they sometimes read a book. The next one. Pete, Pete, Pete never, Pete never, gets, never angry. gets angry. Thank you. What about the next one? Tom is very friendly. Tom is um, usually, usually very friendly. friendly. Oh, uh, are you sure? John usually Tom is? is usually very friendly. Is usually Tom very is friendly. Usually very friendly. Okay, in very. este caso, es nam es is, ¿verdad? Es el verbo. Mm. To es be. el es el verbo to be, entonces la posición del adverbio va a ser acá. Is usually Okay, Tom is, is usually, 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 very, is usually friendly. very friendly. Thank you. I take sugar in my coffee and I want to add I, the word sometimes. I take I sometimes sugar in my coffee. Sugar in my coffee. Thank you. Ramon and Fran are hungry. And, and I want to I'm Fran often hungry. No. Are often hungry. Okay, excellent. Now you did correctly. This is, is because we are using the verb be, then the adverb is after the verb be, después del verbo to be. Okay, you did a great job in the sentences. Uh, let's go with the next one. My grandmother, my grandmother goes. My grandmother always goes, goes for a walk in the evening. In the evening. Okay. Walter held his father in the kitchen. Walter usually helps his father in the kitchen. And the last one, Chris, Christine is smart. Christine never, never smoked. Never okay. Is it easy or difficult? Easy. 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 Okay. Easy. Okay, here I have the answer. He often listens to the radio. They sometimes read a book. Pete never gets angry. Tom is usually very friendly. I sometimes take sugar in my coffee. Ramon and Frank are often hungry. My mother always goes for a walk in the evening. Walter usually helps his father in the kitchen. Christine never smokes. Okay, I volunteer to read the first two questions, sentences, sorry. I volunteer to read the first two sentences. Who raised his hand or her hand? Levanten su manita, who wants to participate? Reading the first two sentences. Thank you, Michelle. You can start. How often listening to the video? Next. Next, please, Michelle. They, so, they sometimes read a book. Thank you. Uh, Marta Carolina, Marta Carolina, the next two, please. Pete never gets angry. Tom is usually very friendly. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Mm, then we have Luis. Luis, the next two, please. Sometimes take sugar in my coffee. Next. Okay, we lost Luis, right? So can you please continue, Miriam? Okay, my grandmother always goes for a walk in y sale la pantallita gris. Right. <laughs> oh, what is this? Give me a second. Okay. Now, can you see? Can you see the rest of the sentence? Can you please start again? Now, yes. Okay. My grandmother always goes for a walk in the evening. Walter usually helps his father in the kitchen. Okay, and the last one, I volunteer to read the last one. 
pristine, never smokes. Okay, thank you. Okay, Luis is back. Thank you. Okay, uh -huh. um, okay. La pequeña pantallita gris que ven es eh, es el what is? Es la lista de participantes. Aquí veo quién tiene alzada su mano. Okay, let's go with the next exercise. Here we go. Can you please unscramble this word to make a correct sentence? Using uh, frequency adverbs. What is the correct sentence? We occasionally go to the movies. Okay, Liz, thank you. You are right. We occasionally go to the movies. We occasionally go to the movies. How often do you go to the movies? How often do you go to the movies? Never. Never? Never. Once a month. Once a month. Okay, excellent. Uh, what about the rest of the students? How often do you go to the movies? Hello, are you there? Tell me with the question. Never, teacher. Never? Okay. <laughs> Often? Okay. Okay, thank you. Occasionally. Okay. Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. The next one, number two. Can you tell me what is the correct sentence? Boys. The boys usually play soccer at weekends. Okay, excellent. Thank you. That is the correct answer. Very good job. And the boys usually play soccer at the weekends. Okay, how often do you play soccer? Yes. Never. Yeah. Occasionally, never. Okay. Sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, what is the correct sentence for number three? They always make the breakfast on Sunday. Okay, you are right. That is the correct sentence. They always make the breakfast on Sunday. Let's go to the next one. This is an easy one. What is the correct sentence? He never made his bed. Okay, he never made his bed. How often do you make your bed? How often do you make your bed? Every day. Always teacher. Always, every day. Always. Every day. Oh, okay. Okay. I hope you are telling the truth. I'm going to ask your husband or your wife or your son or the daughters. Send number five. Yes. Uh, what is the correct answer? We have the word have, lunch, fish, seldom, for, and we. We have long fish. No, we seldom have oh, lunch. Seldom. Have lunch. We, we seldom have fish for lunch. Okay, thank you. You're right. Uh, that is the correct answer. We seldom have uh, fish for lunch. Ok, raras veces tenemos o comemos pescado para él. Para él, almuerzo. Thank you. The next one. Rarely, bus, work, buy, to, go, day. day. They rarely work. 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 
Okay. Okay, Liz. And that is the correct answer. They rarely go to work by bus. Excellent. And here I have the answer. Here I have the answer. We occasionally go to the movies. Who wants to read the next one? Who wants to read the next one? Okay, Marta Calorina, please do it. Do it. Two and three, please. Occasionally, we occasionally go to the movies. Next one, too. The boys usually play soccer at weekends. Thank you. The next two, who wants to read the next two sentences? Three and four. Coco, you can do it. Participate. This is your time. You can do it. Help me with this, please. Three and four. They always make the breakfast on Sundays. Thank you. Number four, please. Yes, continue. He never made. He never makes his bed. Thank you. Number five and six. Who wants to read? We seldom have fish for lunch. Next. They rarely. Ahí sí ya no alcanza a ver porque hay algo que los está Go to work by bus. By bus. Okay, thank you. They rarely go to work by bus. Thank you. And let's go with the last part. Let's go with the last part of the final test. And we're going to see this. Okay. Uh, just the correct meaning of WH question word. Do you remember the question word? Se acuerdan de las WH question word? Yes. Yes, okay. So the instruction says go over the WH question word. What do they mean? Choose the best meaning. Ok. Um, ¿Qué significa? ¿verdad? Escoja el mejor significado. What is the meaning of each WH word? And I have here some examples. We're going to see the presentation here. Here we go. WH word. And I have this. Uh, what do you think is the correct WH word to complete this sentence? What, 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 color, what are color are your eyes? Yes, what color are your eyes? What color are your eyes? The next one. Where, where, are, my where are my kids? Okay, I have where are, my kids. where are my kids? Okay, ¿alguna vez ha perdido la llave si se quedó afuera de la casa? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Where and you say, where are my keys? Where are my keys? ¿Dónde están mis llaves? The next one, number three. Where? Where? When? When? Okay. when do you visit your family? On Sunday. Sunday. Next one, number four. Who is the king? Who is the king of Spain? Who is the king of Spain? Who, right? Oh, sorry. I what? Who is the king? No, okay, that's not possible, right? That is who. Who is the king of Spain? Who? Okay, I'm sorry, I made that mistake there. Now the next one. How old? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, how old is your sister? The next one, number six. What one? What? What? Uh, no. What? No, what? it is not what. We have option. What prefieres? Which one? Which one do you prefer? Okay, thank you. Which? Which? Which yes. significa cuál? Pero lo utilizamos yes. cuando tenemos opciones, ¿verdad? We have options. So, which one do you prefer? The next one. That is cuánto, cuántas manzanas hay ahí. How much? How? Um, how. Okay, we need to use how, with many. How many apples are how there? Many. How many? And number eight. Because... 
Why? Why are you angry? Uh, why? Okay, yes. Uh, well, because también significa por qué. You're right. Pero hay una diferencia. Why is the question Para and respuesta. because is the answer. Yes. Pues, uh, okay. Uh, because is the answer. Why are you angry uh, with me today? Mean the last one. What about when, the last one? What? Where are you going now? Okay. Where? Where are you going now? Where are you going now? Okay. So you don't have any question about WH word? No question? No question, teacher. It's okay. okay. It's, okay. it's okay. Well, the, in the next part of the uh, test, we're going to have this model auxiliary can or can't. Okay, use can or can't to complete the following sentence. I bat at the sport. I can. I can play basketball. Okay, let's see this one. Cat, go down off a tree. Los gatos no se pueden bajar de un can, árbol. Can. 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 Maria is sick. She can't. She can't go to work today. She can't. Go to work today. <clears throat> can't. The next one, Adolphin. Can't. 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 Well, Fernando is in a van. He can. He can. He can. He can. He can. He can sing very well. Number six. The lunch wasn't tasting. Can't. 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 My mother can cook. And number seven. Can. Can. Can you help me? Okay, can you help me? My hunger is too long. Can you help me? Mi tarea es demasiado larga. ¿Me puedes ayudar? Yes. So this is the first one. I'm bad at the sport. I can't play basketball. Cat can't go down off a tree. Off a tree. Uh, Maria is sick. She can't go to work today. A dolphin can walk. Fernando is in a van. He can sing very well. The lunch wasn't tasty. My brother can't cook. My homework is too long. Can you help me? Okay, there is a mistake here. What is the mistake? Can you find the mistake? There is a word. Number, number four. Number a four. Can no pueden caminar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is one. Okay, we're going to yes. fix this right now. Okay, a dolphin can go out, and there is another one. Hay otro que lo repetimos casi en todas las clases when we are teaching numbers. What is it? Could you find it? Where is it? Give me a second. Okay, los delfines no pueden caminar, right? So can't. And the other one was three. Probablemente fue el autocorrector de la compu, sorry. Three, right? Let's see the next part of the test, the last part of the test. Vamos a ver la última parte. Entonces en esta parte teníamos que utilizar can or can't. Just give me a second, I'm going to share with you the screen. Here we go, we're almost to finish. Okay, we are here in this part. Usted tenía que utilizar can or can. Okay. To complete the sentences, right? Similar to the exercise we have done. And in the last part, fill the blanks and complete the conversation. In this part, um, preguntas, ¿verdad? Question and answer. Complete the conversation. Select the option that completes the two blank built in each sentence or question. Tenía que escoger, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál era? 
¿Cuáles eran las palabras correctas para completar estas preguntas y estas respuestas? Y acá le aparecían, bueno, do, live, live. Si alguien no lo ha hecho, no lo ha hecho todavía, le va a servir mucho. You have to take this test. And I have the last exercise for you today. Let me show you. This is the last one. Okay, what is it? WH word, we still haven't really studied this. Okay. Now we have number four correct. A dolphin can walk. Yes, no question. Simple present tense. Okay, vamos a completar ese ejercicio. Yes, to finish. Complete using do, does, don't, or doesn't. Do you remember when we are going to use do, does? ¿Con qué pronombres utilizamos do? Do you remember that? I, do. Uh, I, you, I, do, they, I do, we. Okay, we use you with I, you, we, they, and they. And they. Utilizamos das with the third person. He, she, she, he, it, she, he, it, it. Okay, she, he, and it. Uh, number one. Yo no vivo en un apartamento. I don't. I don't. I don't live in an apartment. Thank you. I don't live in an apartment. Next one. Ella no she tiene una casa. She does. She does. She does. Oh. 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 Excellent. She doesn't have a house. Thank you. Number three. Do, do you have a car? Do you, do you have, have, a car? have a car? Okay. Do you have a car? What is the answer? Where? Do you have a car? Where do you live? Where do you live? Yes, Where do you live? Do. Okay. Next one. Number does, four. Does she like? Where does she live? live? Wait. Number four. Number four. Where? Where do you live? Ah, where do you live? Okay, where do you live? And then number five. That's that's she like five. How many rooms do? Okay, six. How many rooms do your house have, or how many rooms does your house have? How many rooms does does okay? How many rooms does your house have? And the last one. That's right. Does he have money? Okay. Then those were the parts of your final test. Esas eran las partes de su examen final. Do you have any question? No question. No question. Okay. Um, Hay alguien que todavía no haya tomado ese examen? You can do it, right? Uh, you can do it after the class. Puede hacerlo después de la clase. And take it, right? Finish. You have to finish. Si no ha terminado la plataforma, please, you are um, still on time. You can do it. Puede hacerlo hoy, ¿verdad? Antes de la última clase, que es mañana, ya no va a poder hacerlo, ¿verdad? So, si le hace falta algún ejercicio, todavía está tiempo de corregirlo. Hágalo, right? Y si ya terminó la plataforma, ya ni se acuerda de eso. Excellent, right? Excellent. Ok, teacher. Congratulations, Ring. Teacher, yo lo hice la primera semana. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> utilice la misma técnica el próximo módulo, ¿verdad? Uh, complete yes. the platform and the first uh, week en la primera semana. Bueno, si no hay preguntas, nos veríamos mañana. No falte, ¿verdad? A nuestra última clase. Please. Um, I hope to, to see you here. Espero verlo por este medio. Bye bye. Bye, bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Bye, teacher. 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 B